Hi my friends, in this video we are going to learn concrete views. If you don't know what generic API view is, please take a look at the previous video. Concrete views are the views that are extended from generic API view and mixins. They, they allow us to write views with a few lines of code. We will understand better in a moment, but I want to highlight that Generic API view and mixins should be well known to understand concrete views. If we learn concrete views without knowing generic API view and the mixins, we cannot customize concrete views when we need. Now, back to the editor. In the previous lesson, we created a view using generic API view and we used mixins to handle listing and the creation. I will add a comment here, let's say concrete views, and then I will do some imports, let's say from this framework. Now I'm going to comment this class out. I will create a new class with the concrete view, and I will use the same name. I right click and go to definition so let's find out how this class was created here I would like to draw your attention to which classes the list create API view consists of does this seem familiar to you this class has been created using mixins and the generic API view so it's actually the same view we created in the previous lesson in other words, Django has minimized uh, the code load as much as possible and uh, had risen to such a level that can handle even the request methods in the background. If Django is doing all the process in the background, what is left for us to do? We just need to introduce the query send and serializer to generic API view. So let's go back to the old view.py. So I will just copy the query set and I save it that's all we have to do my friends all view is ready I will check the URL so we will not make any changes because we use the same name okay I go back to Chrome and I will refresh the page as you can see we created the view by writing only two lines of code you see how easy concrete view is to use we have a form here you you remember from the previous video so it allows me to add a new book now I want to get the details of any book here in other words the retrieve operation I mean so now I have two books one is a uh, less miserable and the uh, second one is example book I want to retrieve update or delete the book whose ID is 2 so we need an endpoint like books slash 2 let's start by creating the view for this let's go back to editor I will write another view Now, what concrete view do I need? Of course, the one that can handle all these process. I mean, retrieve, update, and delete operations. So we have a concrete view, retrieve, update, det destroy API view. We will use it. First, we imported it from generics. Let's pass it into class. Here is something interesting. I will just copy the same code and paste it here. I save it. You might be a bit confused because we haven't specified any PK here. So how will Django uh, query? This is where the magic of concrete view comes in. 
The Django developers have already done this for us in the background. The purpose of use of concrete weaves here is to handle more operations with as little code as possible. So let's go to the URL file. I'm going to write a path for the view. The path is ready. If an integer value comes next to books, this view will be triggered. So let's save and go back to Chrome. I refresh the page. I was able to access the details of the relevant book without any problems. There is one more thing I want to show before going on. Let's assume that we use slug instead of pk. What are we going to do then? For example, we have such a path. Now let's go to the source code of this concrete view first. Dot definition. As you can see, this view is also extended from generic API view. If you remember from the previous video, we had some variables in generic API view. It's time to take a look at them. So let's go to definition of generic API view. Yes, here we have lookup field and the lookup URL keyword arguments variable. I copy them and paste in the class. The lookup field here is used to determine which field to be queried on our model. Let's go back to the model. You know, there are some fields here. By default, querying is done by ID, I mean primary key. We don't create the uh, ID field manually, but Django does that for us in the background and uh, selects the ID field as a primary key. Let me show you. Let's go to migration folder and it is initial file. As you can see, the Django creates ID field in the background and they select the ID field as the primary key. I mean, in short, PK. So that's why we use PK here for ID field. Close this file we don't need anymore. Well, let's go with the models file again. And then let's make the lookup field as description. So I copy the description. I will paste it here. Now let's talk about the lookup URL keyword argument variable. The name of this variable gives clue. This variable is used to specify the names we give to the URL. For example, if we wrote such a URL, then uh, I need to specify it by this URL. So for example, we should write, my name is Harun. I hope that was revealing. I go to source code of this concrete e again. As you can see, this class are extended from retrieve, update, and the destroy model mixings, which means I can perform update, retrieve, and delete operations. If we go back to the Chrome anyway, we get an error because we didn't clean these variables. We don't need them. It was just an example. Okay, I save it and refresh the page. Here we see the delete button. If we scroll down, there is a form here that allows us to update. So let's see if the update works. So I will change something, example book one. And the click port. I updated it successfully. I will create a new book to test the delete operation. I will create new book, example book 1, example book 15, 
some random writer description go to detail of this book the id is far okay i will click delete i could perform the delete operation without any problems as well the head the http 204 no content returned the guys who watched the first series would remember that we were writing these responses and everything else by one by concrete views take care of this for us you may just want to allow the update operation so to do that we just need to do is to import retrieve update api view so let's go back to the editor now i will just update import sorry retrieve update api view so if we give this class instead of this one and save it return to chrome let's go to detail of first book as you can see the delete button has gone away so you can make the needed adjustments according to your project thanks for watching see you in the next video